This 2023 ASCO Annual Meeting Plenary Video Interview is supported in part by Folsom Pharma USA. It is an honor to be at ASCO to be part of the community that has radically advanced care for the patients who inspire us daily. Folsom is a patient-centered, global, innovative pharmaceutical company. We're committed to delivering world-class science to advance the care of cancer patients around the world. Head adapted combination chemotherapy has long been the standard treatment of advanced stage classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Recently, multiple studies have shown that the incorporation of brintuximabidotin, which is an antibody drug conjugate directed against CD30 on the surface of Hodgkin Reed Sternberg cells, can improve uh, outcomes in advanced stage uh, disease. There have been multiple studies showing that the incorporation of brintuximab. Uh, in a range of different chemotherapy backbones across age ranges improves uh, outcome, including overall survival in adults. However, despite these improved outcomes with brintuximabidotin as frontline treatment of advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma, different chemotherapy backbones are used uh, for uh, pediatric and adult patients. Relapses are still common. A majority of pediatric patients actually receive radiotherapy, even with advanced stage uh, classical Hodgkin lymphoma. And the incorporation of brintuximabidotin adds toxicity uh, with increased neuropathy and febron neutropenia, sepsis, sepsis and infections uh, in adults uh, and requires uh, GCSF uh, support. So there certainly remains room, room to improve outcomes in advanced stage disease. PD-1 blockade uh, has been shown to be effective in the treatment of classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, it's well-tolerated therapy. And there are several studies that have shown uh, that incorporating PD-1 blockade into the frontline treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma has been promising to date. Uh, it's been well tolerated uh, and has shown promising efficacy. So we designed S1826 as a randomized phase three study to compare incorporating PD-1 blockade into frontline treatment of advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma with nivolumab ABD for six cycles compared to brintuximab bedotin ABD uh, for six cycles. Uh, and we included patients with stage three or for classical Hodgkin lymphoma across the age range, uh, ages 12 or older, with no upper limit of age. At the planned second interim analysis of S1826, which was at 50% of the total PFS events, the SWOG Data and Safety Monitoring Committee recommended to report the primary results because the primary PFS endpoint crossed the protocol specified very conservative statistical boundary, showing that nivolumab ABD improved progression-free survival compared to brintuximab vidotin uh, combined with ABD as initial treatment of advanced stage classical Hodgkin lymphoma with a one-year PFS of 94% as compared to 86% with brintuximab. Nivolumab ABD was well-tolerated. There were few immune-related adverse events observed, and less than 1% of patients received radiotherapy uh, which uh, is a large change uh, from prior pediatric studies that showed that uh, a majority of pediatric patients still received radiation therapy, even with advanced stage disease. Follow-up is ongoing to confirm the durability of the PFS, assess overall survival, uh, and assess patient reported outcomes. But based on these results, nivolumab ABD is poised to be a new standard therapy for the treatment of advanced stage classical Hodgkin lymphoma across the age spectrum. And this is a key step towards harmonizing pediatric and adult therapy of classical Hodgkin lymphoma. <laughs> 